everyone, this is Building a Legacy Brick by Brick. My name is Gerald Abbey. On this channel, we talk about the three aspects of wealth building in no particular order, which is real estate, starting your own business, and of course, investing in the stock market. Not to forget a sprinkle of my lifestyle. Anyhow, for those of you who have subscribed and continue to follow, I want to thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following as well. And thank you for keeping up with the content. Now, for those, of, for those of you who have been following, you are aware of the uh, tenant, the eviction of the tenant, the preparation of the proper, property, uh, and then finally, the, uh, the basement or lower level of this home, which I've also been renovating. As you look around here, you can see that I've installed the tile on the floor, which I will show you in more detail, and also what ideas do I have for this space in conjunction with the space upstairs as well. Now, the great thing about real estate is that what you put in is typically what you get out, like everything else in life, you know? So it's, it's very similar. As you see, I'm investing a lot of sort of equity into this home, and it all adds into the equity that I'm gonna be able to take out later on, because I'm cutting costs as much as I can, I'm handling the things that I can handle uh, in order to get this work done and, and, and increase the value of this home. All right, thank you, stay tuned. Let's go. In this particular frame, I am showing you the front yard to the home. And as you notice, the walkway is damaged. As I prepare to look into repairing the walkway, that I want to make sure that the detached pieces from the driveway are not hazards. So I'm removing them and putting them into a dumpster that I've purchased here to be picked up soon as you see in this frame so I'm picking up these things it's somewhat of a workout for me because these are heavy pieces but again the level of the last two weeks I've been focusing on preparing this home for whichever direction I would like to go in and so I'm trying to incorporate my workouts as much as I can with not having the time to go to the gym I'm not sure that this is an excuse but I'm just telling you what I'm doing right now. Building the legacy brick by brick. You'd notice that I am being approached by the prospect who is interested in the home. He proceeds to tell me that he grew up in the community and he's always had interest in the home. Unfortunately, by the time he could come around to meeting the owner at the time and approaching him regarding wanting to rent a home, he didn't know whom the owner was. So driving by today and seeing me working in the yard made him stop to ask if the home was up for rent. He was very disappointed in the previous tenants, he said, because he noticed that they gathered very often and there were a lot of people in the yard, quite often. Anyhow, that is what you're noticing as I am removing the broken pieces from the walkway. I was approached by a prospect. So this is a very, very beautiful community, safe area, especially here in Atlanta. This is a pocket in Atlanta that has a lot of historical values as far as this neighborhood. Being purchased by the black mayor of Atlanta, and this neighborhood was primarily upper class black folks that lived here, doctors, lawyers, and they owned the all around brick homes in this community that is called Collier Heights. Building the legacy brick by brick. Hello, beautiful people. Thank you all uh, for the opportunity uh, to allow me to share my journey with you. On this channel, I'm gonna be talking about life overall. I have a financial background, so I'm gonna talk about finances, ways to be able to position yourself to create wealth. I also wanna talk about real estate because I believe there are three pillars of wealth building. One, real estate. Number two is owning your own business. Number three is investment. So in no particular order, these three things have to be 
encompass into your wealth building processes. And upon this channel, I want to partner with you. I want you to come along with my journey to see how with my experiences, having had many years of financial knowledge and being and worked with banks and worked as a financial advisor, I want to leverage my understandings, my, my experiences, my knowledge, and I want to come bring you along with me on a journey that's going to help you out there like myself, whether you're a foreigner from Liberia, West Africa, or just from Africa overall, or from anywhere in the world, and uh, you have aspirations to do things, maybe my, my journey tells you to jump, tells you not to be reluctant, not to hold back, to have confidence, to know that when, uh, you, when you are an entrepreneur, uh, you're led by your heart, you're led by what you are, you are passionate about, because you need passion to be an entrepreneur. You know, life has ups and downs, being an entrepreneur has ups and downs, like everything else. So you have to have passion, and with your passion, you're able to overcome anything that comes along. See, this, 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 this right now, as you look around, we're still in the rough stages, but I've seen even more rough stages than this stage. So for me, as a visionary, I still see a great opportunity. I see a vision that is coming together. And this is what this is, a vision that is coming together. It is slow, it is rugged, it is tough, it is mentally draining, it's everything. But my passion keeps me going. And that's what I want to share with you. I want you to understand that as you embark on this route of entrepreneurship, as you acquire knowledge, as you look to improve, it's not going to be perfect. But you have to build the wherewithal, build the skin to do whatever it takes to keep going if it's your passion. All right, stay tuned. I have more to share with you. This is just the beginning. My name is Gerald Addy. I'm very excited to have you beautiful people on my channel. Thank you. Stay tuned. In this video, while preparing the lower level, the basement of the home, I first have to remove or level the floor, meaning, meaning remove any lumps or any old tiling that's still on the floor. And then following that, having to clean the space entirely to allow the uh, contractor to come in and lay the tile. So what you're watching is me going ahead and doing somewhat of the demolition. That's what they will refer to this in construction, demolition, cut cost, in order to help me preserve as much equity as I can in this property. While by doing the things that I can do and exerting my manpower and creating sweat equity.
Hello guys, as you notice here, we are now preparing to lay down the baseboards, corner rounds, and just kind of wrapping up this basin and putting in the finishing touches. We're yet to do the window frames, but for now, since we're focusing on the floor and the tiles, as you notice here, have been installed. Now we are going to install the baseboards and as the uh, grout has dried and then soon after would be cleaning the grout entirely off the floor. This is building the legacy brick by brick. Thank you very much for subscribing and following and staying up to date with the content. Hello everyone, thank you for subscribing. This is Building a Legacy, brick by brick. My name is Gerald Adams. On this channel, we talk about my lifestyle, but also in particular, we talk about the three aspects of wealth building in no particular order, which is real estate, starting your own business, and of course, investing in the stock market. Now, a lot of you have been privy to a lot of the things that has happened in my life, in addition to so the business aspects of me as well, as far as real estate and the various properties that I've managed that, that's experienced different things like eviction or just the different processes of being able to create wealth as far as refinancing or the process of acquiring an investment property and becoming a landlord. So while real estate is going to be a focus because as of this moment in my life is something that I'm invested in as well, I do want you to know that we will be talking about stocks, bonds, mutual funds, retirement accounts, 401ks. These are all things in alignment with my expertise as well. But in addition to that, we're not going to forget about starting a business. For those of you who have aspirations to start a business, we're going to talk about the ins and outs of starting a business, creating a business plan. We're going to discuss that and that's relative to some of the things that you guys would like to learn about. We're going to talk about how we can position ourselves and build business credit over time so that we can then leverage that to be able to uh, acquire lending for the different business ideas that we have or how we can create that lump sum through real estate. So it doesn't matter which direction we go. Uh, one thing again, my life will be encompassing all of these things because in the short 34 years that I've lived, I've been blessed to have had a lot of experiences. From coming from Africa as a refugee at the age of 18 years old to have been in America now to 34, becoming a financial advisor, my story becoming published by Wells Fargo, starting my own practice with Merrill Lynch, one of the greatest investment firms in the U.S., and of course working with Chase as a private client advisor, overseeing three Chase branches as a financial advisor. So all of these experiences, I believe, are very vital in everything we're going to be talking about and how I can intertwine and buy my first home with the aspirations of those of you who are looking to buy your first home and what were some of my experiences, what are things that I did to properly position myself to be able to qualify for that loan, that FHA loan, to then purchase my first home. What are some of the things you need to do within your budgeting to prepare yourself to purchase your first home? And how can we all do that together? What strategies can we have in place to scale as we purchase that first home? It then leads to the second, the third, and then many after, if that's what you desire to do, what you aspire to do. So again, this is Building the Legacy Brick by Brick. My name is Gerard Addy. This is the home that the tenant was evicted from. I am in the process of considering which option to go, which direction to really go as far as whether I would like to sell, rent. However, I've also been maximizing the lower level of this home. This home is technically about 3,300 square feet. So about 1,700 at the top, 17 at the bottom. So, and I have three bedrooms, two bathrooms, two living rooms as I give you the tour, kitchen, and a garage space all on the first level. In the lower level, now, which has a separate entrance that I wish I, I've shown you in a previous video, if you followed, which is the separate walkway that I created. You, in, in that lower level, you're going to notice that we have two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a kitchen, a walk-in kitchen just as big 
and it, it just as big a space, almost as big as this space in the basement as well. So this home is a huge home, and I've tried to maximize the space the best way I can so in order to optimize uh, the profit, the uh, equity that's in this home. So stay tuned, I'll give you more insight on my, how I purchased this home, and what were my plans in conjunction to purchasing this home, and what are my plans moving forward based on my situation as it pertains to this home. Thank you for subscribing, continue to follow, check out the video.